hello, hello, and happy Friday to all of my Scorpions. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with this special reading on today. It's Friday. It's Friday somewhere, maybe Thursday when you watch the video, but it is Friday somewhere in the world. So happy Friday to each one of you. Let's get into your reading. The energy has already been cleared, so let's go. Scorpio, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, Scorpios, you know who I'm talking to, my intense, focused, ambitious, faithful, stubborn, passionate, resourceful, Scorpions. Yes. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Scorpio, if somebody's on your mind, I mean, you're on somebody's mind, excuse me. So you could think about them for a split second, but change the channel. Here we have Page of Cups. We also have Seven of Cups. Yes, we have the Six of Swords, just in case you didn't see it, getting close, Six of Swords, Ace of Wands, yes, 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 indeed, the Chariot card, mm-hmm, Scorpios, and we have the King of Swords, yes, <sighs> Was somebody married to a snake? What is going on, Scorpio? That's the first thing I see looking at your cards. Now, Scorpios, y'all know that the last quarter moon is in Scorpio, right? That video is up on the Knowledge Channel. That link is below. That means that the intensity of these emotions tied to whoever you were married to, whether it's in a romantic marriage or a business marriage, those emotions are, are waning. It was quite intense for somebody like you got bit by a snake, right? So imagine getting bitten by a snake and thinking it's a poisonous snake. For some of you all, you may say it was a poisonous snake, um, but you didn't die from it. But just going through all the motions, something happened that was really, really, really intense and a relate in some part of your life that was really intense for you. For some people, they feel like they were gonna die. They literally was just sweating, going through heart palpitations, all kinds of drama was going on, right? Because you were going through that rebirth, right? So. Keep in mind, the first of the month, we had new moon in Aquarius, right? So somebody was ready for change because that's what Aquarius is about, change, right? But it's fixed energy, so sometimes it can be hard, change. Just like, you know, you can say it out of your mouth. You could desire change, but when you have to go through all the motions to actually change, to, to create space, to get what you prayed for or what you asked for, it may not be easy. It may be easier said than done. Then we had the first quarter moon which looks like a half moon in taurus that was on the 8th right 8th of february then on the 16th we had the full moon fully illuminated remember the moon is aligned to our feelings subconscious habits moods and emotions so that intensity came back like that thing that you may have been trying to suppress and you're feeling like man I can't believe I let that thing bite me like that. Like, why didn't I see that? How, what, what was going on? In, but you got to think what was going on in your life that you didn't see that snake coming, right? That snake was there just to bite you, to wake you up. But then if we move to the 23rd of this month, that's why I put the video up early on the knowledge channel. That link is below. That last quarter moon is in your sign, Scorpio. So go watch it. So that intensity is waning. It is. It's waning because you're ready prepared for this new phase. You're ready for this new cycle, that new moon coming up in March. That's what you're ready for, right? You're just ready for it to happen. So you don't have too much longer. Even if you want to download a moon calendar, the intensity of this snake bite is starting to wane, right? And that person has really been thinking about you, but you're not letting them back in. Yep, you're not letting them back in. Matter of fact, you sailed away from that emotion. You're like, nope, let me just get away from that. Disappointed, but you sailed away from the emotion, right? You're leaving it behind. Leaving it behind. You see things so much clearer now. This is the direction that you're headed in, right? So again, just continue toughing it out. You're a nurturer by default. This is not an emotion that you want to nurture. You don't want to keep nurturing how that snake bit you. Yeah, and cause all sorts of emotions, right? Yes. Your intuition is is on fire, Scorpio. So yes, your intuition is on fire. You know exactly what it is. You're like, 
I'm, I'm clear now. I spoke some things into existence, and now I'm ready to move on. The snake has moved on. That snake energy has moved on, but it served for some of you all as kundalini experience, right? You needed to go through that kundalini experience to wake you up because you're a fixed sign, and you needed to be jolted out of whatever trance somebody was in. Somebody was in a trance emotionally. Like, they just couldn't, like, they couldn't... Like pry themselves from this situation, right? But remember, you have two ruling planets, Mars and Pluto. There was a lot of deep um, emotion behind this this situation. So yes, let's see what else we have. So guess what? As this moves on, you're opening yourself up to find your actual person. For those of you who want to get married, yes. Once you sever time, remember I said. The um, full moon in Leo is about boldly set. This is that masculine energy because you all are divine feminine by default. I'm talking to men and women, Scorpios. This is where you are boldly severing ties with anything that's been leaking your energy. That is anything, okay? So again, clear messages are coming through. Clear messages, this is in Gemini. So you're embracing both sides of yourself, the seen, unseen, the known, the unknown, the part that you... Uh, when to speak, when to listen, right? Again, you're you're really fully activating that divine masculine and divine mas the divine masculine and divine feminine sign. And then I'm saying perfect synergy for you in the workplace. Somebody is even speaking up at work. Yes, somebody is even speaking up at work. Somebody may have even dealt with some, like I said, that's why I said married to your job because you all are very ambitious or even married in a romantic situation. So some of you all, like I said, are sailing away from the disappointment at work. Just like, that's just how they are. So I'm not even going to get that involved anymore. It's hello and goodbye. That's it. I'm here to pay, could do my job and collect my paycheck. Or if it's a romantic relationship, you're sailing away from the emotion. So as soon as it pops up in your spirit during full moon, let me go find something to do so I'm not even thinking about this. Because you, you've been growing. You've been planting seeds and you're growing those seeds. You've been watering those seeds. So I see it showing up in your money. And I see somebody feeling very happy, very magnetic, very free, really just on fire. That's what I'm seeing for you all. There's a lot of fire in your chart. And I see things moving very, very quickly. Because why are you not putting so much emotion in it? This is a person who is self-assured. They know who they are. Very powerful. Yes, very smart. Emotionally in tune. The smartest sign emotionally. Your emotional intelligence, bar none, hands down, is the best. So again, for you, it's like let me let me take my power back. Let me take. Let me, I'm not showing that thing any more emotion whatsoever. Whatever that thing is, it could be a person, place, or thing. I'm not showing it anymore. I'm not giving it any more energy anymore. But that's what the full moon does. Full moon gives us an opportunity to sever ties with something that we need to suppress. Anything. I mean, it, not to need to suppress anything that we need to sever ties with that we've been trying to suppress. That's what I meant to say, that we've been trying to suppress. Again, this is a general reading. Only take what resonates with you. We have, we want to, um, oh, page of wands. Okay. Somebody's going to feel like they have this new fire back in them. That's what they're going to feel like. It's just like I said, it's a lot of masculine energy in your cards. And somebody is really ready to tap into that masculine energy. So somebody is looking for, like, you know, this, this new flame has been lit in you. You put all these emotions out. You're like, okay, that snake is gone. I'm not. That's snake energy. So snake energy, again, is not always bad. Some things needed to bite you, to wake you up. When I say snake energy, I'm not referring to a person. I'm referring to an energy. That energy has you on their mind. Yep. What do you need to release? Go watch that uh, last quarter moon in Scorpio. <laughs> oh. On the Knowledge Channel, go watch it, Scorpios. Mm -hmm. It applies to it actually applies to every sign. But what is it that you need to release? Moving forward, what do you need to wane? See, waning moon. That's what that's what the last quarter moon is about. It's waning. Those emotions are waning. They're not as intense as they once were. So yeah, I see somebody riding off into the sunset. Just them, right here. We have connect with crystals. It's number 11. You're stepping into your own light. Yes, somebody is stepping into their own light. Finally, 
that snake is gone. Again, snake energy. We're not talking about a person being a snake. It's the snake energy. That energy represents rebirth. You had to get bitten by that snake in order to go through a rebirth. And it was very, very intense at first. Life represents a cosmic capacity to manipulate both time and energy. Yes. So just in case you want to take a screenshot and then the other side reads, I can stop time when I take in more energy than I give off. There you go, Scorpio. Love it, love it, love it, Scorpios. Have a great day. I know that you will because that is the intention you set. And happy Friday. Bye.